Helena Prison is right within our reach. Hello everybody, it's Double RPG here, and welcome back to another episode of Double RPG Let's Play with The Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation 1. In today's episode, we are going to begin Operation Rescue Shauna in Helena Prison. So yes, we are going to go inside Helena Prison for the first time. So, uh, let's go ahead and get on with this episode that's already in progress. And now I've grinded Dart to about level 6, and I have grinded his edition Double Slash to its fullest level, which is level 5. Well, of course, that goes for any edition, so we should be using the Volcano edition for him right now, so yes. Anytime before we go into some place that is major, I am going to be taking this opportunity to at least grind my characters, or at least try to grind their additions. So, I thought I might let you know about that ahead of time, so that way you know what I have been doing in between episodes, and everything will make much more sense once we keep going on through this game. So anyway, let's go to Helena Prison right now. And we are going to enter this hellish place and see if we can try to save Dart's childhood friend. And I I don't think I've mentioned about... I, I know I've mentioned the music in this game, but I didn't realize that, that this game was composed by a Japanese composer and an American composer. That's what I didn't realize, but... Yeah, you can might you might actually tell that this game sort of has a rock vibe to it, but that is because it's done by the American composer, which I think is the guy or one of the people who worked on the music for the Siphon Filter games on the PlayStation, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, just thought I'd go ahead and point in that little tidbit. But anyway, we need to sneak inside the prison. We're going to use that carriage as a leeway for us to get inside the place. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to follow it to the front of the prison, and we're going to see this guard try to stop the carriage to inspect it. But anyway, I see. Good meat and fish. Sir Frugel will be happy. You brought a lot recently. Or, you bought a, a lot recently. Is there something going on? It's not the business of a merchant like you. Okay, okay, sorry. I'll inspect the load. Alright, since the Helena guard is going to inspect the load, we want to hide on the side so that way it doesn't try to detect us. Because if it does detect us, then it will chase us away and we will have to be forced to try again. Or we have to fight the Helena guard. I don't know. It seems to be okay. Lower the bridge! Now! Okay, so we finally have made ourselves inside the carriage, and good thing we did too, or else that guard would probably got onto us if we got spotted. But we're not going to get spotted anytime soon, as we're going to sneak stealthily inside the place if we're going to rescue Shauna from being imprisoned. Why do they want Shauna in the first place? Well, that is something that we will learn throughout the game, but throughout this chapter, we'll get little tidbits of it. But it revolves through the overall game of what Shauna's character is about. And there goes the merchant who's going to stop, and we're going to try to look around the place. I made it. We can go save our progress if we wanted to, or we can go and talk to the merchant. Who, who are you? I'm discovered? This way! So yes, we're going to fight a Helena guard, so we might as well, right? I guess that uh, I guess that merchant didn't even use his head and learn that we're not going to kill him, but how could you blame the merchant? Oh, I don't know. I think since we're here inside this prison, we cannot even run away from any of the guards here, since most of the battles that we are going to be going through inside of this place are going to be story-driven. Oh, wait a minute, they call them Helena Wardens, but they don't even look like Wardens to me, because the main Warden is the guy who runs the prison, right? So shouldn't they be called Helena Guardsmen, or Prison Guardsmen, or whatever? Oh, I don't know, who cares? But anyway, we defeated that Guardsman, or that Warden, or whatever, and we've got ourselves some more experience, and as you would have guessed, as I said, look at the level we're on with Dart, and look how much gold that we have on us right now. So, that's some pretty good work for somebody who who can get into this game, or for somebody who is going to learn that this game has a very big, steep learning curve throughout the long run, especially when it comes to fighting the bosses, because the bosses will get much tougher later on. This game is no means of walk in the park, so... I mean, it's it may not be that tough as Vagrant story-wise, but at least it's still a tough game nonetheless. 
help me! I'm just a delivery man! Be quiet. I'm not going to kill you. O okay. I won't make a noise. Well, at least there's a merchant here that learns about us that we're not even going to try to hurt him one bit. And anyway, it's time for us to sneak inside this place to see if we can try to find Shauna now, sh shall we? Okay, we got ourselves a burnout inside of that chest, so it's another one of those uh, attack items which we can multiply it to make it become stronger. But anyway, we need to go this way if we're going to locate Shauna, because since she is this way, we're going to have to try our best to avoid capture and avoid the wardens within this place, because if we get caught, then we are going to have to be forced to do battle with the enemies in this game. Oh, out of service. Don't think about it. Okay, well, we can try to ride this, but evidently it's not going to carry us up that far. As you can see right now, as it just brings us down, but... Luckily enough, that doesn't try to attract any of the guards. I mean, if it does, then we can go ahead and we can climb up here and we can avoid the guardsmen. And we would be safe if we had to come back. Now, every time when we come back here at this place, the Helena soldiers are going to spot us and they're going to continue to try and come after us. So, just continue to run away from them if you want to, but if you want to gain some more experience, that's your call. Just do whatever you want. Now, when that guard has his back, you can go ahead and climb up these ladders, and you can avoid being spotted, and we can go ahead and head this way again. Now, by going this way, it's going to lead us to one section of the prison, but it's not going to lead us to where Shanna is. Now, if we take this pathway, we should be able to get in contact with a new party me- Wait, nope. I don't think this is going to lead us anywhere, but we can- try to avoid capture at this place. Well, I don't think we're going to avoid capture anytime soon because there are Helena guards coming out of this place up the wazoo and they're going to try to stop us. And we have obtained some new items as well as a leather jacket and an angel's prayer. Now, the angel's prayer is the equivalent of Phoenix Down in this game. Alright, since we have been spotted by those guardsmen, we might as well go ahead and fight them, right? And I think we're going to fight two of them since they're both together. I could be mistaken and we fight one at a... Nope, we fight one at a time, it seems. Might as well make sense since uh, Dart is only a one-man army at this point and he needs to fight at least one person at a time or one enemy at a time. But sometimes he can fight two enemies at once or maybe even three enemies at once and he can still survive. Okay, one enemy down and one more to go in order to get out of this pickle. But yes, once we go to the next screen, we start the next battle right away. No, we don't. That guardsman just ran off. So we don't even need to fight it. We could just go this way, and if you want to equip that leather jacket, you can. I might as well go ahead and do so right now, so that way Dark can have some stronger armor on him. Wait a minute, he can't even equip the leather jacket. I think that's for Shauna, if I'm not mistaken, because the armor-type characters like Dart and the newest character that we're about to get very shortly, they don't even wear light armor like that. So we'll just have to leave it alone as it is, and let's go this way. Move quicker! Uh-oh. Looks like this might be... A surviving member or surviving uh, members of the army that's in rebellion with the Helena or the Sandoran people. Move quicker! Ugh. You have such bad luck. You will regret not being killed on the battlefield. What do you mean? You really believe you can live comfortably in the jail? The head warden Frugel will feed you to the monster. Oops! Feed us to the monster, I won't let you humiliate us anymore. Oh, feisty, feisty. It's the worst kind of POW, but the best kind of feed. If you want to kill me, kill me now. I won't let him. Sir Levitz! You, you bastard! You broke out of jail? Silly guy, you think you can escape from here alone? I'll take care of this. Survive and go back to Indel's castle alive. Tell King Albert. 
I won't let you! Uh-oh. I took care of those guys. So it looks like it's this man Levitz against the Helena Wardens. Is this Civil War? You! Who are you? Are you a dog of Basile too? Who are you? I'm... I am Dart! I am not your enemy! I am Levitz Slambert. I'm the head of the first knighthood of the knight... of, of the kingdom of Basile. Well, it seems we don't have time for introductions. No, we don't. So, this is our newest party member in the game, Levitz Slambert. Now, as you would have guessed, Levitz Slambert, he is a spearsman, or a, a guy who uses a lance in battle. And I will say it this much, this guy is going to be a short-term party member for some of this game, and you shall see why. But for the most part, he is a very valuable party member who we want to be using most of the time, since he is going to be with us for quite some time in this chapter. But let's go ahead and just get on with this battle that's on hand. And as you would have guessed, Levitz is at a pretty short level when compared to Dart, who is at level 6. Let's go ahead and use Volcano on this Warden right here. Now most of the... Uh, all the Helena Wardens, they are fire-based characters. Since you did see the window color for their text was red, or what showed their enemy types. Yeah, it's red. Let's go ahead and use Levitz's ability here. It's called Harpoon, which is the equivalent of the Double Slash. Now, I will say it this much, Levitz is pretty weak against magic, because he's mostly an attack or brute type character, as you would have guessed, since most knights are attack uh, melee type characters, whereas most m mages and such, they have magic type abilities, and each each class can have a negative effect towards each other. It's kind of like with the magic, you know, like fire against water, or earth against wind, or light against darkness. Similar to that. Alright, very good. That's another kill for Dart there, so... I probably might have outdid myself with uh, uh, leveling up Dart before arriving at Helena Prison. Now, there is something that you should know when you have multiple party members. Every time when you get through a battle, that's going to tell you that when you complete a fight, each character is going to have a divided amount of experience points that they're going to share. Like, say for instance, you obtained 18 points in this battle, but there are two characters, so that means each character is going to have 9 experience points after being divided up into twos, since they're both going to be even. So yeah, I just thought I'd go ahead and let you know about that, since it's one of the game's hardest features w within leveling up or grinding your characters, is that they're going to be divided in terms of experience points. So that really does make it hard in this game, but for the most part, it can tend to be easy if you tend to spend a lot of time with your characters and leveling them up and making sure that they get through just fine. And as you would have guessed, Levitz is at level 3, so yeah, not a very good level for him to be at right now. I will carry out your wish. You said, Dart. I cannot imagine there is somebody who intentionally comes to Helena. What are you up to? I'm here to rescue someone important to me. Do you know anything about her? Her name is Shauna. I am sorry, but... I'll look elsewhere. WAIT! I'll go with you. I thought you had to go back to the castle as soon as possible. She's important, this girl you are looking for. It's my problem. It was my fault. I don't know what brought you here, to, but Helena is not that easy to go through alone. That goes for me, too. But, I can break out from here together with you. Of course, with the girl. 
How come you trust me? We just met. The raid you made was quite impressive. I trusted you to guard my back. That's the way I think. Alright, let's go together. So yes, Levitz is our second party member. So it's good that we have some more party members in this game to help us out. And trust me, it, it is going to help us out in the long run when we're going to defeat tougher enemies. So anyway, he has our back throughout most of this fight. So, or thro throughout this, you know, going through this prison. But yes, it's time to even the odds a little bit when we're fighting against multiple enemies. And if we're fighting just single enemies, then that's going to make it tougher for all of us to grind our characters. But don't worry, we'll get through it just fine. And it kind of seems unfair for Dart to have more experience points and for him to level up his additions more than Levitz. But that's okay, we will grind our characters... We will grind our characters' additions as long as we keep going through this game. So, not everything's going to be a total loss, mind you, but... For, for now, it is going to be really tough on all of us. Okay, now if we take this pathway, we should be able to go up to where, Shan where Shauna is going to be. And she she's just beyond this door, but I don't think we can get in there. Where Dart says, God, it's locked. She should have said, like, damn, it's locked or whatever. But as you would have guessed, the swearing is really minimal. <laughs> that guardsman didn't even see us! How awesome is that? Okay. Now, there are guardsmen right down this way, but we don't... Actually, there are some that are right over there, but... We don't even want to get caught over there, so... We're going to have to go up this different path, and we're going to see if we can try to find something that will get a, give us access to where Shauna is going to be. And yes, security is pretty tight within this place, so... Let's go ahead and head over here, and we'll go ahead and we'll inspect this item that's right there that's shining on the box crate. This room is extra tightly guarded. Huh? What about this key? Take it with us. We'll need it if the girl called Shauna is under con confinement. Acquired key to Shauna cell. So that is a key item. Very nice. But why only that girl? I intend to ask the di that directly to the head warden. But that's after we rescue Shauna. Very well. But we will resume trying to rescue Shauna in the next episode, since I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to close things off right now. So next time on Double RPG Let's Play with The Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation, we're going to continue where we left off through Helena Warden, and we're going to go rescue Shauna finally, and we're going to see if we can try to make our way out of here. All right, gamers, take care of yourselves, and I shall see you on the next episode. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then.